Okay, you guys ready? Three, two, one, go. Hey everybody, welcome to episode 21 of All Ride. It's a beautiful day here in the Mother City and we found ourselves at the bike park which is on Constantia Eitzach Wine Estate down in the southern suburbs. We're joined by the legendary Chris Nixon and of course Craig Rhodes Harrison. Today Chris is going to be taking us through how to become a better rider. This is essentially the first episode in a series of skill episodes that we're going to be bringing all of you. And today we're starting right at the beginning, kicking things off with balance. Okay, so today we're going to start off with some balance. I think uh, balance is the most important thing when it comes to um, riding your bicycle. And the more technical uh, a terrain gets, the harder it is to sort of go through any obstacles. You start going even slower, so your balance needs to become more and more important. So to make your balance a little bit better, I've got a little bit of an exercise I've kind of in invented here. Something that uh, the BMX riders, when they're balancing on the start gate, kind of do as well. And it's a little bit counterintuitive. To what most people think so what I mean by that is if you're gonna sort of fall over to the right you actually need to turn to the right and not the opposite direction where a lot of people I find turn to the wrong direction so any sort of corner of a wall uh, that you can home we've sort of haven't got really a corner here but we'll use this pole as a corner today um, put your bike roughly in the middle of the corner okay so your handlebars are sort of the same distance from either side so it's cool. even uh, wedge with, the front wheel in there. Yeah, wedge the front wheel. If you're going to fall off or something with a corner on either side, if you can either just grab the wall, it's much easier to do than uh, than in the open in the middle of nowhere, yeah. especially in the beginning, first time out there. Okay. And to start off with, uh, just make sure your cranks are level with the ground. Okay, you always want your cranks level to the ground. So when you jump onto the bike, um, the front foot that's forward, push against it, no brakes. You don't want to be using any brakes when you're doing this and you push with the front foot and you just climb onto your bike and you can balance just make it look easy if you want to you can actually hold onto the wall in the beginning when you get up and just start balancing and as you can see as i'm moving from side to side i'm just turning my handlebars it's not a matter of pushing the bike from side to side it's turning the handlebars from side to side okay so if i'm going to fall to the right i actually need to turn to the right it makes my body go the opposite direction you want to grab your bike so you can have a, have a go. Yeah. Yeah, hold onto the wall. If you have got a friend, what you can do is the friend can actually hold stand behind wheel. you, put the wheel between the legs. Try and keep your knees as still as possible and just in the hands. Can you feel that now? Yeah. Yeah, you can see now. I can see it's coming. So, Chris, how often should one look to do this, eh? Well, in the beginning, you should probably be doing this, especially for the first two weeks, about five minutes a day in the beginning. After that, probably once or twice a week. Okay, okay. now try it standing. Okay, so the reason we do it standing is that uh, you don't always sit. Yeah. You always sometimes switch your climbing or going downhill, you're gonna have your bum off the saddle. So you always want to understand your shoulder position changes slightly when you're standing. Yeah, balance is the crucial stuff. Once you've got the balance right, a lot of other stuff starts coming along understand later on. Yeah, and it just shows that like no matter how long you've been riding for, you can still always learn hey, and always progress and go back to just refining the technique, which I think is then ultimately gonna make you better rider and uh, faster. So Doug, we've put you on a BMX here, <laughs> yeah, like and uh, you're really struggling, eh? Yeah, no, I'm, uh, this headset's kind of loose, eh? Don't blame the bike. A good workman never blames his tools, eh? So you should nice. probably go to the advanced class and stand out there. Feels like I normally ride my bike. Uh, so you're saying that you've been doing this all along? Yeah. So why aren't you uh, any better then? That's a good question. <laughs> so Chris, now that we've got uh, the balancing against the wall sort of down, what's next? So the next is to take the wall away and we start doing some track stands. Yeesh. Okay, cool. Okay. Let's roll. Let's go and show you how it gets done. So we've made our way over to a different part of the park and uh, we're going to take the balancing against the wall and now the evolution into track stands, which uh, I personally am really not that good at, but hopefully Chris can uh, show us how it's done. So track stands are actually not that difficult. There's a little bit of a secret involved. 
um, by using pulling your brakes a bit and you stall your cranks are still roughly in the right place so the cranks were forward pull your brakes and when with the foot instead of pushing against the wall you're actually pushing against your brakes now and it becomes easy and you can find there's a lot more movement involved when you're pushing from side to side and when you're ready you can just take your foot off and you can see I'm using my brakes if I'm going to fall over a bit I let go of the brakes and grab them again and we can move around. and that's really how it works so the secret really is in your brakes and you can do half pedals if you want to as it goes a bit a little bit of a half pedal and then grab your brakes again and then once you get that sometimes some people find it easier to stand and you can try standing Okay, you can see how I'm letting go of my brakes and grabbing them again. Okay, your turn. Cool. Just remember, if you're going to roll, when you turn that front wheel, yeah. and you feel let go of the brakes, so it rolls and comes up, ah. and then you grab the brakes again. Okay. Yeah, now let go. Yes, that's it. Yeah, I think that's the secret. That's the secret. You letting let yourself the move. Because yeah. I've always taking it as like no track stands you've got to be dead still well, as you get better and better you can actually start okay. it's just getting past the yeah. point but you get past the point you're actually trying to find that balance point yeah and by letting it go you then find it again and yeah. once you find it as you get better and better you find you actually stand more and more in one place yeah for sure and cleated versus uncleated so if guys are actually like would normally ride with cleats would you recommend that there they just stand on the pedals or yeah, actually would, clip in like you would normally in the beginning definitely no cleats yeah you rather just put your feet on top of the feet even if, if you've got uh, cleats yeah unclip just pop, your, them on yeah, top. pop them on top and it should be a little bit easier in the beginning yeah you see that's why i brought uh, flat pedals today yeah, i knew yeah, uh, yeah. back to the basics eh? I think flat pedals are pretty good to start off most things, just from a safety point of view. Much easier to get your foot out and put it on the ground. Yeah, for sure. Bro, this thing's bottoming out <laughs> creating some new ruts divots here some new lines yeah some new lines basically for the kids it's i'm helping the kids <laughs> but chris definitely looks like i can spend some more time balancing but uh for the guys watching why is this important why is it t uh, so important to spend time on the bike balancing how does that translate onto the trail well the biggest advantage is when you're going uphill so this especially when you're going uphill you're going a lot slower and because you're going a lot slower you need better balance yeah so a lot of people actually find that when they're getting to especially going up a hill they need lots of speed big speed before they get to the hill and then they get halfway up the hill they completely suck they've got an energy left because they're just trying to keep their speed up but if you start a hill more gradually i aim is to get to the top start off a little bit slower but because you've got to get better balance you can then always get to the top of the hill no matter how steep it is really cool okay let's give that a crack So we've made our way over to uh, what looks like a nice little punchy climb. So Chris, putting track stands into, into play here. Yeah, so the big thing about the track stands is now we're actually going to be climbing up the hill. The biggest advantage about doing the balancing is when you're going up the hill. And the idea really here is because we've learned to balance, it's about the friction that the, the front wheel makes on the ground. So the more weight you can keep on that front wheel when you're going up a hill, you don't want the front wheel lifting off the ground. So try and get as uh, close to your handle, handlebars as possible. So using your head and your shoulders just to get a little bit closer to the handlebars. Put some weight on your, your hands just so when you are balancing and turning from side to side, you're getting a bit of grip on the front wheel. Okay. Cool. Ready to go. Yeah. Wait forward. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you watch episode six where you were waiting at the water point for half an hour every time, I'm definitely known for my climbing. So first things first, seat up, easy gear, weight over the front of the saddle. Let's give it a crack. Yeah, it could have gone a little bit more forward. A little more forward, okay, little cool. More forward, yeah. 
a little more forward. You had lots more speed than you, so you didn't have to turn. Yeah, I didn't have to turn. So basically, yeah. I messed it up completely. Take two. Just in terms of getting ready, just choose a nice, easy gear. You want to go actually slower so that you do simulate more handlebar movement, which is obviously what we're trying to do balance. So let's give it a go. Vaguely okay. Yeah, much better. Awesome, Chris. Thanks so much. Yeah, that's a uh, that's super useful and also a fair amount of info, but also really like relatable and digestible for the guys to just take home and implement it wherever they are. Chris? Do you want to just uh, basically talk us through a quick recap of exactly what those guys need to be focusing on? Yeah, it's just the balancing against the wall at home and a little bit every day is the real secret there. Once you've got that, just get on to doing the the track stands and remember let go of the brakes. It's the key there. Once you're trying to balance, and then once you're out on the trails. Look at practicing stuff over and over again, whether it's climbing a hill or whatever you're doing out there, it's generally the best way to do things. Eh? Practice and, makes perfect. And that's worked for you over the years? Well, definitely, yeah. Sweet. Well, speaking of which, uh, two weeks time, Chris is over in Andorra racing DH. So, uh, to make sure he's ready for the action, we've got our own special weapon here. It's not the Black Lantern, but it is something incredibly special. Take a look. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ow. Talk to him. I mean, sometimes you got people going against you, and you just gotta go above and beyond Check. all that. Let's go. Straight up the top, just so you. With Dylan Lamb, there's about to be a throwdown on this uh, dual slalom track, I guess. Dylan's gonna be starting it off. Who's your money on, bro? Uh, I think Craig, eh? You mean Fat Craig? Yeah, Chris is quite old. <laughs> Zing. Okay, you guys ready? Three, two, one, go. So when you got it, want it, you know my team want it, you know my team want it. Good fun. Alright Chris, thanks for being a good sport today. I definitely learnt a lot and uh, despite you letting me win in this big guy, we've had a lot of fun. But listen, best of luck in Andorra. Okay. Two weeks ahead, uh, final two weeks of your preparation. All the best for that. We're going to absolutely definitely be following the action, but uh, good luck, ride safe, go hard, do us proud. Thanks. But for now, Looking at least uh, go, go show us how it's done, please. Take it away. Looking forward to it. Rock and roll. Thanks for joining us for today's episode of All Ride. If you've enjoyed the show, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Do leave us a comment, but also, more importantly, give us a share.